Hello mga mahal! Welcome back to my learning channel. This is one of tutorials where you can level up your math skills with me, Miss B. So, hello, hello! Nagbabalik na naman po ang inyong resident math teacher na tutulungan kayo para mas maintindihan nyo po ang inyong mga lessons sa math. Okay? So, as usual, please don't forget to like this video if you indeed like this video at nakatulong po sa inyo. And uh, please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel para naman masaya. At saka pakiclick nyo na rin yung notification bell para every time I post a video lesson, you will be updated agad-agad. Okay? Alright, so ano na bang lesson natin this week? So we are now actually on the last lesson of the third quarter. So nasa week 6 pa lang tayo pero tapos na tayo sa mga lessons. Medyo may iksi lang kasi yung lessons natin this quarter. So... Ayun, maraming tayong time. <laughs> so, we are now on week 6, as I said, of the third quarter. At ang lesson natin for today ay ang mutually exclusive events. So, as usual, ang gagawin po natin ay mag-discuss tayo muna ng objectives. Ano ba ang objectives ng ating lesson for today? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell whether two events are mutually exclusive or not. And then, illustrate mutually exclusive events using a Venn diagram. And then, of course, last but not the least, solve problems involving the probability of mutually exclusive events. Okay. Now, this is in line with our most essential learning competencies. We have two for this week. Illustrates mutually exclusive events and solves problems involving probability. Okay. So, magsimula muna tayo. Ano ba ang mutually exclusive events? Yes, kailangan may label, okay? Parang yung lahat ng relasyon sa mundo, kailangan may label. Hindi pwedeng walang label, okay? Matuto kay ma'am. <laughs> okay. So, what are mutually exclusive events? Mutually exclusive events, actually, na-discuss na natin to before dun sa isang previous video. So, kung maaalala nyo, I illustrated it using a Venn diagram. Now, if I'm going to use a Venn diagram, I'm going to show it to you later again para ma-refresh sa utak nyo kung anong mutually exclusive events. Now, uh, as a definition, these are events are that are impossible to occur at the same time. Okay? So, supposedly kasi ang um, relationship dapat between two people lang yan, pero dahil maraming hmm, ngayon. <laughs> so, dapat kasi yun, yun ang example sana ng mutually exclusive, but... Um, Oh well, anyway, moving on. <laughs> ano ang magandang example ng mutually exclusive event? Salimbawa, when I toss a coin, imposible naman na parehong lumabas ay heads at tails, di ba? So, it's either a head or a tail ang lalabas sa isang toss coin. So, yun po, yung the coin showing the heads or the coin showing the tails, that is a, a good example of, of two mutually exclusive events. One cannot uh, exist with the other event. Ganun po siya. Kailangan imposibleng mag-occur at the same time. Okay? So, to illustrate in a Venn diagram, I'm going to draw ang isang mahiwagang Venn diagram. Ang mutually exclusive events po ay yung magkahiwalay na circle. Okay? So, this is event A, event B. So, in short, wala po silang shared elements. They don't have anything in common. Okay? That's why we say that they are impossible to occur at the same time. It is impossible for them to occur at the same time. There. Sorry. English. <laughs> okay. So, in symbols, ito po ang ibig niya sabihin, the probability of getting an event uh, wherein A or and B is happening is zero. So, again, virtually impossible to happen or to occur silang dalawa. Okay? Now, uh, if you have events naman that have a common element or have an intersection, hindi zero yung intersection nila, then those are what you call not mutually exclusive events. Okay? Now, let's move on. I have here some exercises. Okay? Alin dito ang mutually exclusive and not mutually exclusive. So, I'm going to give you time to answer. You can pause the video. And then, siguro, after you've answered yourself, you can unpause it, and then you can listen to the answers, okay? Okay. So, a coin turning up heads and a coin turning up tails. This was my example before. This, or these are mutually exclusive events. Getting a jack on a standard deck 
and getting a black card. May intersection po yan kasi meron tayong dalawang black jacks. Okay? So, these are not mutually exclusive. Liking My Hero Academia and liking Attack on Titan. So, is it possible to like both? Of course, it is. So, you can call it non-mutually exclusive. And then lastly, putting on jeans and putting on leggings. Now, unless ikaw ay nasa Amerika at malamig, <laughs> nasa tropical country naman tayo, so good luck wearing these two. Magkapatong. Hmm. Majin it. <laughs> so, supposedly in our country, in our situation, these are mutually exclusive events. Okay? Okay. So, sana naging malinaw na at sana nakasagot kayo. Alright, so now let's have some examples of finding probabilities. Okay, so number one, suppose that I roll a d12. Find the probability of rolling an odd number or a number divisible by 3. So of course, ang unang-unang gagawin muna natin ay finding the, uh, what do you call that? Finding the sample space. So this is a d12, so ang sample space po natin ay may 12 elements. Okay, from numbers 1 until 12. And then, of course, uh, you have to find the two events na binabangkit. Ano yung two events dito? Rolling an odd number, we will call that A. And then B, a number divisible by 3. So, rolling an odd number. What are your odd numbers? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. And then, of course, we have our numbers divisible by 3. What are those? 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay? So, from here, we can actually determine what is N of A and what is N of B. Para makuha natin yung probability. So, N of A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6. Ang N of B natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. Question. Meron ba tayong intersection? Meron yan. We have 2, 3, and 9. Okay? So, how do we get the probability without drawing your Venn diagram. Okay? Kasi syempre, okay, lang na magsulat lang kayo, mag-drawing lang kayo, mag-drawing ng Venn diagram. Pwede namang mag-solve tayo ng without using the Venn diagram. So, you're going to use this formula over here. It's going to be the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So, bakit nagma-minus? Kasi nga, meron silang shared elements. So, tatanggalin lang natin yung shared elements na yun. Okay? So, let's look at this. Ano po ba ang probability of A? Nauubusan na pala tayo ng space. So, wait lang. Mag-add lang muna tayo ng slides. Duplicate. Tapos, tatanggalin natin itong mga ito. Alright. So, the probability of A happening, that would be N of A. So, ilan do yung N of A natin? 6. 6 over 12, that's 1 half. The probability of B is, ilan yung B natin? 4. So, that's 4 over 12, 1 third. And then, the probability of A intersection B, ilan yung, probab ilan yung inter A intersection B natin? 2. So, that's 2 over 12 or 1 sixth. So, to get our probability of A union B, we're going to have 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 sixth. Okay? At yan po ay magiging, if we're all going to make it uh, have the same denominator, this is going to be 3 plus 2 minus 1. Ano po ang sagot? 2 thirds. Okay? Kasi yung kakalabasan yan, 5 minus 1, that's 4. 4 over 6, it's 2 thirds. Alright, so may sa pa tayong example dito. Uh, find the probability of rolling a number less than 4 or a prime number. So, ganun po tayo ulit ha. Mag, uh, if you want, you can list down your elements first before we determine the number. So, we have our sample size or sample space. That's 12 pa rin. And then you have the probability of rolling a number less than 4. So, ilan po yan? Tat tatlong elements lang naman yan. 1, 2, 3. 
So, n of a is 3. And then, n of b is a prime number. Ilan ang prime numbers from 1 to 12? So, you have uh, 3, 1, 3, 5, 7, and then 11. So, 5. Okay? And then, do they have an intersection? So, yes, they do. C1 at C3. So, dalawa. So, how do we get the probability again? It's going to be the probability of A union B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So, this is going to be 3 over 12 plus 5 over 12 minus 2 over 12. And if we're going to solve this, we are going to get 6 over 12 or 1 half. Okay? So, yan po ang dapat nating makukuhang sagot. Alright. So, now let's go over dun sa solving word problems. So, now that malinaw na sa atin ang ating mutually exclusive events, we're going to talk about solving other probability problems. So, if you toss a coin five times, what is the probability of getting exactly two heads? So, how do we get the sample space for this one first? So, yun ang unang-una natin kailang malaman ilan yung ating SS. Now, there are only two options. And then, every time that we do it, we only have two options. Diba? So, essentially, if we're going to uh, use the fundamental counting principle, we're going to toss it five times. Diba? So, two options on the first try, two options, two options, two options, two options. So, essentially, we have two raised to five. Okay? So, ang two raised to five po natin, yan po ang ating uh, N of S. Okay? So, that would be two times two, that's four times two, eight times two, sixteen times two, thirty-two. Ito ang ating sample space. Okay? Now, what is the probability, excuse me, of getting exactly two heads? So, how do we solve this? Paano natin matidetermine na merong exactly two heads? So, para mas magets natin kung paano siya sinosolve, ang pwede natin gawin is we're going to list down our possible outcomes. Pero, kailangan yung may exactly two heads lang. So, pwedeng head, head. Tapos, tail, tail. Pwedeng mauna yung... Okay. Tapos, eto. And then, ano pa? Tail, tail, tail. Head, head. Okay? Now, this is for yung magkasama yung heads. Now, paano kung hindi sila magkasama? So, pwede tayong head, tail, head. Tail, tail. Para lang tayo naglalaro dito, minumove lang natin yung ating H. Okay? Ano pa? Pwedeng mauna to. And then this one. Okay? And then, uh, pwedeng TH, TTH. Or, pwedeng tail, tail, head, tail, head. And actually, that's it. Kasi, uh, this is actually a permutation. So, the order matters here. So, I think we've listed down all of the possible ones. If there are more, comment nyo lang sa video na ito. Okay? And then, we're going to count. Ilan to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there are 10. ba? So, para lang makuha natin yan, it's going to be, the probability of that is going to be, ten over, yung sample space natin na 32, or, 5 over 16. Okay? So, ito, medyo madali pa to eh. Nag-list down lang tayo. 
What if ganito na siya? In a standard deck, find the probability of A union B if A is picking a card divisible by 5 and then B is picking an even numbered card. So, uh, you can list down your elements first, pero since we are pressed for time, ang gagawin natin is we're just going to list down the number of elements per event. So, of course, our sample space is 52. There are 52 cards. And then, for N of A, ilan yan? Divisible by 5. So, sa cards, ang numbered cards lang naman natin ay 1 to 10. Tama? Tapos, you have a 5 and then a 10. But then, for each type of card, there's 5 and 10. So, essentially, that's 2 cards times 4 types. So, you have 8 possible cards to choose from. Okay? And then, event B is picking an even-numbered card. Ilan ang even-numbered card for one type? Pag sinabi kong type, yan po yung apat na symbol sa ating cards, ha? So, you have the diamond, the heart, the club, and the spade. So, yun yung type. So, there are four types. Tapos, for each type, there are how many odd-numbered cards? So, there's two, four, six, eight, and ten. So, that's five. Five times four, you have twenty. Okay? And then, of course... We're going to look at yung intersection nila. Kasi, is this mutually exclusive or not? Hindi po. Kasi meron silang intersection. At ano yun? Yung mga tens. So, there are... There is an intersection of four elements. Yung apat na tens. Okay? Kasi, it is divisible by five and it is an even number. Kaya siya nandyan. Alright? So, now, again, let's find the probability of A union B. So, the probability of A union B is going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So, using the information that we had kanina, we had an 8 over 52 plus a 20 over 52 minus 4 over 52. So, if we are going to solve this, this is going to be 28 minus 4 24 over 52, or this is going to be 12 over 26, further simplifying, that's 6 over 13. Okay, so yan po ang ating probability. So please remember the formula that we have. Now, paano kung mutually exclusive yung events? Edi zero lang yung probability of A intersection B. Okay? Pwede na siyang tanggalin. If the events are mutually exclusive. Okay. Let's move on. Paano naman ko kailangan gamitan ng combination at saka ng permutation? Mm, nakalimutan nyo na ba? Dapat din nyo pa siya nakakalimutan kasi kasama yun sa lesson natin. Okay? So, we have permutations and combinations. So, let's look at this. A six-digit code is needed to unlock a padlock. Using the digits 0 until 9, what is the probability that the number code doesn't have repeated digits? So, kailangan natin dito is kailangan natin malaman yung lahat ng possible items wherein the number code does not have repeated digits. And then, yung ating sample space would be gagamitan natin ng fundamental counting principle. So, ano yun? So, there are 6 digits, di ba? Tapos, there are how many choices per digit? So, it's a 0 to 9. Uh, ang gagamitin natin dito sa sample space natin is when the digits are can be repeated. So, ibig sabihin, according to fundamental counting principle, that's all of 10. Okay? 10 raised to 6. Okay po ba? Kasi there are 10 options per uh, slot sa ating 6-digit code. So, ito po ay, ano ba ang ating 10 raised to 6? 10 raised to 6, 1 million. So, yan ang ating sample space, ha? Tapos, kailangan malaman natin yung uh, permutation wherein the number code does not have repeated digits. So, pag does not have repeated digits, ilan yan? Kapag does not have repeated digits, so you have 6 digits, 
one two three four five so we have ten options for the first and then nine and then eight and then seven six and then five Okay, nababawasan siya kasi nagamit mo na yung digit na yun for the first, and then for the second, for the third, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, this will become what? What is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5? So, it's 151,200. 151,200. We're going to divide that sa ating mahiwagang... 1 million. So, magka-cancel out lang yung dalawang zero. May 1512 tayo divided by 10,000. Or if we're going to express this as a decimal, pwede naman natin siyang i-express as a decimal. It's going to be 0 0.15. Or that's 15 out of 100. Okay? Chances. That is your probability. Okay, and then our last problem for today is going to be a combination problem. Within the Babysitter's Club of 10 members, three representatives must be chosen to attend a regional competition. If the club has four boys and six girls, what is the probability that all representatives would be girls? So, syempre, kailangan mo munang malaman kung ilan ang iyong sample space. Okay, so how do we get the sample space? We need to get the combination of... 10, taken 3 at a time. Kasi kailangan lang ng 3 representatives, di ba? So, it's a combination problem. So, that's uh, we have 10 and then 3 10 minus 3. So, sana hindi nyo nakalimutan yung formula na ito no, for combination. So, we have a 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 factorial. Ang mangyayari lang po dyan ay we have 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. So, let's do that. 10 times 8, 8 divided by 6. We have 120. Ito yung sample space natin. Okay? And then, we're going to look at yung event wherein the probability or that all representatives would be girls. So, dito lang tayo sa girls kukuha. So, ibig sabihin, it's going to be the combination of, ang kukuhanan mo lang ay yung 6, and then we have taken 3 at a time. So, that's 6 minus 3. Factorial. Okay? So, this is going to be 6 times 5 times 4 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. So, what is that gonna be? 20. And then, in order for us to get the probability of that, that's just going to be 20 over 120. That will give you 2 over 12 or 1 sixth. Malaki-laki. Kasi marami yung girls. Okay? So that's it. Yun po ang ating lesson. Medyo fully loaded siya. Pero I hope that you still got to... Uh, understand the lesson. If you have questions or if you want uh, some parts of this to be clarified, please leave, the, leave them down at the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in a few weeks because ito na yung end ng ating third quarter lesson. So, I'll see you guys in a few weeks. Paalam!